Canes fans, I'm your host Giselle Espinal is bringing you day seven of training camp. Today's episode is featuring wide receiver Philip Dorsett, who lets his performance do all the talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on this side, Arrow over here, Kona. Hey, this guy just put like uh, something underneath my shirt. <laughs> I don't know why he was rubbing my back when he was doing it. <laughs> Stationary, catch, spin, right? There it is, there it is, nice, nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nice, 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 nice. Come on. Go. Nice. Good feet. Good feet. Good feet. Come on. Come on. Move it. Move it. Move it. Good. 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 Eyes are up. I'm real ready to throw any minute, right? Any minute. Any it's all right. Come on. It's from any minute. It's somebody's foot. Ball. Boom. table is wide receiver Philip Dorsett. Philip, welcome. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thanks for coming by. Okay, so some of the things we saw this today's practice, what have what do you have to do differently coming in tomorrow? Um coming in tomorrow I think I would say we gotta be more consistent. I mean uh, defense kinda uh, roughed us up a little bit. I mean especially in those last drills. I mean it, it is what it is. I mean it, that's good though. That's a good sign coming from the defense and that, that um they're getting better. Um, I know often. I know we have a great offense. I know we got a lot of weapons, but just to see that defense kind of um, getting with us a little bit, I mean, that's a promising sign. What are some of the things you've worked on from last season now coming into this season? Did, is there anything in particular that you did during the off season? 
Oh yeah, I did a lot. Of, um, I've been working on my speed a lot and worked on my hands and concentration a lot. I mean, I worked on. I ran track this off season. I ran indoor. Um, uh, like I said, um, in the summer I worked on my concentration, worked on lower body strength, upper body strength. I mean, I worked on a lot, and I, I feel like it's gonna pay off this off season. All right. So the question is, if we were in a race, you and I, would you let me win? Um. Is it about competition? I, mean, I got a, I got a little pride on my side. <laughs> so I might let you win. All right. Thanks, Philip. That's all the time we have for today. We're gonna toss it now to the top plays of today's practice. Here we go, Stephen Morris off his back foot, lowering for Bo Sandlin on his knees, makes the catch with the defender on him. Now we move on, and it's Eduardo Clements. Look at the stiff arm there on Tabu Fentress. Nice play from 23. Ryan Williams over to Damari Jones in the corner. Yes, sir, that's six points. Stephen Morris finding door set. Now Williams over the middle, Stacey Coley on the post route. Morris back in the pocket, throwing to the corner of the end zone. Bo Sandlin, there he is again, folks. Two defenders on him this time. Now Williams, that's a sack from number 94. Williams again. Nice play from Antonio Crawford. Here comes the defense. They're excited. And Morris trying to go in the flat. Denzel Perryman looks a lot like Boston College last year. Great play for the pick six. Now Ryan Williams, Curtis Porter gets to the backfield. Nice play for the D tackle. And then woohoo, Alex Figueroa getting in there. The freshman making impact plays. Does it again on this one on Eduardo Clemens. That's two straight to you, FL. Kevin Kane, hold that goal line. Yes, he does. Defense getting big. And that will do it for today's episode of Kane's Camp Report. If you haven't bought your tickets for this 2013 football season, go online to canetix.com. Want to know anything more about the football team? Go to hurricanesports.com and follow them on Twitter at Hurricane Sports for the latest news and updates. I'm your host, Giselle Espinales, signing off. See you guys here tomorrow.